Now, other than politics, one of the reasons why this leaked draft is such a big deal is because the act itself, it doesn't happen often, but it has happened before. Politico pointed out a handful of cases that have slipped out to the public. In 1972, while Roe was under deliberation, an unbylined Washington Post story detailed the justices' internal arguments on the subject. The story appeared days after the justices ordered a second round of arguments in the case. While the story was attributed to anonymous informed sources and did not quote any draft opinions or internal memoranda, it did, however, describe them in detail. Then, prior to the Supreme Court's 2012 decision upholding Obamacare's individual mandate, some legal analysts believed they saw indications the justices' internal deliberations had been leaked as well. So here to discuss this highly unusual situation and the potential next steps of the investigation is Josh Blackman, professor at the South Texas College of Law, Houston. Josh, I just genuinely wonder in your legal mind, what was your first reaction when you found the Supreme Court's draft opinion had been leaked? Shock, then disappointment, then despair. Um, the first was a shock. This has never happened before. There have been minor leaks from the Supreme Court where the outcomes of cases have been announced in media, but never a full opinion released. Then I was despaired because now the Supreme Court can't trust each other, right? The courts only work if the judges are able to rely on their colleagues and staff to keep things confidential. But now everyone is a suspect. It's like the game show Clue, right? Everyone, everyone's a suspect. Who did it? Um, so all the clerks and all the justices are now suspects, and this is a very dangerous precedent for the court. What do you fear drove what would make somebody want to do this? What do you feel? What do you fear would drive the motivation? That's the word I'm looking for to do this. To be completely frank, I don't get the motivation. Hmm. This leak hmm. doesn't help the left. It doesn't help the right. It hurts everyone. If a clerk or a justice did this, then they've lost their mind. Right, for someone to think this was a good thing to do um, defies rationality. Uh, there are so many negative consequences that can happen from this decision. Um, if a justice was on the fence, this locks them into where they would be. This is not an attempt mm. to uh, push a justice out. I don't think it's persuasive. I think it will backfire. Yeah. And I'll say for me, having absolutely no legal background, I was shocked to hear from uh, Justice Roberts about this, the fact that he spoke out publicly. So I wonder, in terms of investigating, he said he wants this investigated, he wants to know how this happened. Talk to me about how you think that could play out and could Congress play a role in investigating the leak? The first step is the Supreme Court have an internal investigation by the marshal of the Supreme Court. The marshal supervises uh, uh, security at the court. Uh, but I would not be shocked if the FBI got involved, if mm. there's evidence of perhaps hacking or perhaps evidence of theft of government property. Uh, maybe the clerks we put under a polygraph test. I'm not being facetious, right? A lot of things can happen. Um, I think at the end of the investigation, there must be a disclosure to the public of what happened and why it happened. Um, if there's no investigation, this is swept under the rug. I think it blows up in the chief's face. Was a crime committed here, Josh? So the word crime is a very technical legal term, as you might imagine. Um, if there was theft of government property, there might be a crime. If there was unauthorized access of a computer system, hacking, mm. there might be a crime. Uh, imagine that a custodian pulled a piece of paper out of a garbage can mm -hmm. or lifted it off the desk. That might be criminal. But if a law clerk had access to this document and shared it with a reporter or gave it to her friend who gave it to a reporter, mm -hmm. it's not clear there's a crime there. Right. Do you think that someone could be charged with something, whether or not it turns out to be defined as a crime after an investigation? Well, only violations of criminal laws can be charged as crimes. Um, but I think the court can mount an investigation and say, our report suggests that John Doe engaged in this act. And for all we know, a clerk lost their mind and did this and ends up resigning and confessing and admitting to it. Um, but still, that doesn't obviate or eliminate potential liability for a justice. Maybe a justice was in on it. Uh, so really, there's so many different ways this, this situation can go. Josh, I have to say, I can feel your passion about this and, and your utter shock by it. And, and, you know, I can tell that, you know, obviously the legal field is extremely important to you. Explain what you feel the Justice Department means to our country and how this action counters that. Right. Put aside what you think about abortion or gay rights or anything else. 
um, we need to have an independent judiciary. For the courts to operate, they must be able to decide in secrecy. If people could start getting a preview of what courts will do, they can apply pressure, blackmail, extortion, and different ways to try to affect rulings. Give me an easy example. If the Supreme Court's about to rule against some corporation and this corporation will lose a lot of money, to be insider trading. People start mm. dumping stock to this company. There's so many negative consequences that follow from leaks of confidentiality. Um, this is just the tip of the iceberg. And I'll tell you something, if it worked here, it'll happen again, mm. and again and again and again until it's stopped. And that's why the Chief Justice has such an important role of stopping this madness. Josh, I want to thank you for taking the time to come here and chat with us. I would assume we'll have opportunities to have many more conversations as this unfolds. But thank you for coming here and putting this into perspective for us. Thank you so much.